Hello everyone, I am Trisha Morris and I'm at Club Scrap coming to you live with the spoiler that we're uh, planning for September's collection. It's called Roost. It's going to be a lot of fun and I can't wait to show it all to you. And today I'll be covering what's in the page kit, the card kit, the stamps, and a lot of other things happening at the warehouse this month. So I'm very excited to show you everything we have in store. I've got so much news that it's all on a clipboard here again because otherwise I get too excited and I forget to share all the important things with you. So um, I hope to stay on track. I've got all my all my stuff lined up here on my table and can't wait to show you everything happening. Hey, Cindy. Hey, everybody. And I'm sure I've got Karen in the house here. She's in her office just uh, down the hall and she's ready to help answer your questions and share any important links with you. And I'm sure we've got Julie uh, online as well. And sometimes Jacqueline pops in. She's our designer. Craig is often often has it on and he's in the warehouse today. And uh, yeah, it's a whole team event. Everyone's involved. Beth is ready to, to pull orders. And uh, so all hands are on deck. So thank you. Thank you very much, Julie. Um, okay, so as you may know already, the theme was roost. And if you're always, if you're curious about what the next theme is, we always divulge the name of the theme and maybe just a little bit about it in the blog post on the, on the first of the month. So if you want to find out what the October theme is, you'll want to read the post that I will have on Thursday on September 1st. That gives you a month to sort of try to figure out what we're going to do and dream it up. And then you get to see the real thing at our spoiler, usually four to five days before we ship. And that just kind of depends on where the weekend falls and how much time we need to help uh, pull those orders and get your uh, wish list uh, granted. So I see everyone's checking in here. We have a nice crowd forming. It's always very exciting. It gets my pulse rate accelerated to see the crowd grow. I love that. If it's your first time joining us for a spoiler video today, please check in and let us know you're new and or maybe you're a new member and this is the first time you get to do the spoiler live with us if you join maybe in, during the month of September. So be sure to check in, tell us where you're from. I see a lot of you are doing that already. It's a beautiful summer day here in Wisconsin and I can hear that they just started mowing the lawn outside my window. So yep, there they come. <laughs> so if it's kind of loud, uh, that's what's going on here. We also have a lot of construction happening in, happening in our parking lot. So if you are local and pick up your kit, especially around the first of this month, one of these days they're going to be putting fresh asphalt down in the parking lot. So just we'll do our best to get your kit to you. And if you have any question about whether or not the front door is available, just send us an email before you stop by. Okay, well that said, I think I'm gonna turn my uh, camera to my work surface here. First, it'll get to look at my ceiling again. And here we go. This is Roost right in front of us now. And it is a beauty. I absolutely am in love with uh, these prints. So I'm gonna start with a paper, which is always the centerpiece of our collections. We've got this beautiful weather vane print. I think Jacqueline just did a spectacular job on putting all these images together. We wanted something really rustic, but yet very neutral. And I think she achieved that with this design. It's so, so pretty. Um, and then this is our uh, other print. Again, I love the colors. It's very warm. And this one's a little bit more on the cool side. So that's gonna really help enhance the colors that we've included um, on the papers. Oh, I see some oohs in there. That's, I love it. If you like it, give me an ooh. <laughs> okay, so then for the planes, this is the taupe metallic. And um, so it is has a slight sheen to it and also has a slight texture as well. It's a nice heavyweight 80 pound cover, as is our Norm. So that's an awesome. Now here's another neat color. This one is a really beautiful dusty blue. We're just calling it blue, but you could call it gray as well. I'm not really sure. It's, it's a blue gray. And then we have this nice brick and then a really uh, warm or heavyweight uh, brown. So those are the, the key colors here along with those uh, set, sets of two gorgeous prints. Now, if you want more of these prints sent with your kit, you can order them individually uh, this afternoon once these products go live in our shopping cart. If you wanted the whole kit, however, you need to wait until the first of the month to purchase the kit individually. Uh, members, of course, get first dibs on those. 
And then we have our two sheets of printed cut aparts. These are on that cool palette with some warm image elements on there. We have some, a really, this is probably my favorite quote of the whole deal. I wonder if chickens do the people dance at their weddings. So I know rustic weddings are really popular right now. So maybe you could even tie it in with a fun wedding photo. Um, but it's, it's just a really fun collection. We had a great time assembling all the quotes. Uh, every, everything that uh, made this this come together. And again, I mean, you don't have to be a chicken tender to, to want this collection. I think it's extremely neutral, even though it, it, it does have these specific images on it. Uh, for ribbons this month, Craig picked out some gorgeous stuff. We've got a 7 8 inch taupe cotton. Uh, very, very soft and uh, easy to work with, easy to tie. Um, and then 5 8 inch, we've got this two yards of this rust colored grain. And then this is really appropriate. I think we got this checked. Uh, this is a 3 8 inch wide checked ribbon. So it's basically a, like a taffeta mixed with a satin finish. Then for embellishments, uh, we have these really adorable rooster woodcuts. And they can be flipped in either direction depending on which way you want them to look. And uh, a bronze rooster charm. He's really cute two arrows and then these kind of tie into the whole idea of the weather vane that's a part of this collection and then these two oval settings now we do have a plan for those um, and i'll show you when i when you see the finished layouts then uh, these three little mini seed packets those are really cute in this little craft color and then a set of 12 pre-cut photo mats now these as you may know if you're if you're not new you know this but they are trimmed to four and a quarter by six and a quarter and that way they easily accommodate your four by six photos without you having to do a thing to them now also with every collection we do have our very detailed instructions. This is something you can download and print or just use a tablet or computer screen or even a phone screen to follow along with. And then embedded in the instructions, you are gonna find a link to the workshop video. During that video, I'll help you sort all the papers out and uh, trim them. We'll trim and file them together. And then you can see the, the images of the finished layouts and every little ingredient used on that layout. Uh, so hopefully that is helpful to you. Let's take a look at those finished pages. Okay, this is layout one. And I like to build these little collages um, that contain embellishments and cut aparts, ribbon. You can see how all of that comes together here. So Jacqueline designed this cute little word that's on the cut apart, peep. And I added some of my own wax linen thread from my stash onto each end, each loop on the end. And I just think it's super cute. Home is where the flock is. So this is a perfect tie into, you know, whatever you might be working on. Then on this side, you can see the arrow uh, worked in with your journey leading you home. And then I made this adorable little hanger, like a faux hanger, using the, the brick colored ribbon with a brad from my stash. So you're going to have to come up with a brad if you want to replicate this exactly. I stapled some ribbon onto this. My roost, my rules. So cute. Here is the big uh, cut apart here. Now, if that's not working for you, just put a photo right over the top. It's designed to fit a photo perfectly as well. And I, I just encourage you to always do that. If you have a lot of photos and you just have only a few mats, put them anywhere and everywhere, but then your main characters or your, your best photos on the mats to really make them pop. I've got a little ribbon trick and I'm sharing all my ribbon tricks with you this month in the how-to video. I like this little crisscross method. It's very easy and doesn't use much ribbon at all. Then let's see, this is layout five. I don't know if you do this, but I number and name my layouts on the back uh, each month so I can keep them straight. I have to thank Kathy Radcliffe, I believe, for this little trick. She, all she did was just twist ribbon on the card. I thought it was super cute and translates really well to scrapbooking as well. And then there's that other bronze arrow. This is our happy place. Love it. Another little pa uh, packet. And you can use it if you want to store something or just have it be a visual embellishment. Sometimes you can use ribbon as a little border strip as well, which is, I did, which is what I did here. Or you can nest it in layers and leave it flat. On this side of the page, <laughs> I paired up the block, which is, again, a cut apart that I made a little fake hanger for, with, I suspect, foul play. This is great for the kids, you know, whatever they're up to. And then these, again, are just kind of for show. I, I secured them in there, and these were the only remaining scraps. So there are literally zero scraps when you make this uh, set of pages. And then another ribbon trick here that I'll talk briefly about in the video as well. So that is your roost page kit. I'm, I'm in love. 
we all are here at the warehouse. Everyone was very tickled when they saw how it all came together in the end, uh, which, you know, something I don't even know. When I start, I don't know what's going to happen, but then I do all my trimming and assembling, and then the next thing you know, here we have the eight pages. It's pretty cool. All right, next up is the card kit. So here we have uh, that kit, and you can see the print here. Now, what I've been noticing, because sometimes I help Beth pull orders uh, in the afternoon on these spoiler days, um, is a lot of you, a lot of my uh, page kit members order the, the card kit print separately just so they have it because it's, it's, it's different and quite beautiful. So if you need uh, some of these, be sure to pick those up while they're available. Uh, let's go over embellishments that we have. I usually get these in sets of four since we'll make a dozen cards for each of three varieties. So I've got these uh, craft colored round scallop edge tags. And then check these out. Aren't they cute? Little, just little drawstring bags and craft. And then four of these super flat, again, uh, rust colored flower appliques. They're so pretty and they have a little hole in the middle and I'll show you in a second what we do with those. Now for ribbon, again, a fabulous set here. We've got a 5 8 inch uh, dusty blue grow green with a gold metallic woven into it. Love those metallics. And then this is a um, plaid, as you can see, a brown plaid, which is kind of perfect for the theme. And then of course this rust colored jute is gonna be fun to work with too. So we talked about the print. And then the plain papers include, again, what you've seen in the page kit. We've got two taupe, two brick, two blue, two brown, two white. And on top of that, we have our printed cut aparts. Uh, the cards are very fun this month. We do have um, some nice humor. We've got uh, uh, some get well thinking of you, just chicken up on you. Um, some birthday as always. Um, yeah, this is where we had the quote. I wonder if chickens, oh, that, that's the chickens doing the people dance. We also have, well, I'll show you on the finished cards. Okay, then I wanna mention again the instructions. So um, this will start out with the link in blue that you can click on once you get to the download and you can print it as well. I'll sort on the video with you. Um, we'll trim and file and score the papers together and prep all the cut aparts and then together we'll make one each of the three different card styles. Let's take a look at those. Okay, I'm gonna put this aside so I don't run out of room. And here we go. We've got our A2 size, or this fits rather into an A2 envelope. Super cute, you can see the scallop tags and ribbon at work. And it's an uneven gate fold. So the left flap is wider, the right flap is skinnier. And then you got happy birthday to one cool chick inside. There are two of those. Now, I wanna quick show you so you can plan ahead. Um, I did use some thin dies. Uh, this was a two inch circle with perforation and this I believe like, was one and five eighths. Um, you can use a punch or you can just use scissors. It's not required. I'll talk more about it in the video, but um, these these uh, kind of helped create what happened here. I just want to mention it because I typically, you typically don't really need anything extra to finish the cards, nor do you in this case, but it's just a little something that you can add two of the keep calm and cluck on. Sometimes you have friends who need that card. Okay, then this is my favorite. Did you know that people who take care of chickens are literally chicken tenders? <laughs> and I've used the ribbon to make a little uh, hanger for that, kind of cute. Now this is called a VW card. You can see why. Here's the V and here's the W. And this has a very clever yet easy assembly. So I will give you all the tips for attaching this and this properly so it all works out like this. And then in the little uh, drawstring bag, you've got a little excellent in there. Have a happy day. Really cute. Uh, stands up nicely for display. It's well balanced. You're gonna like this one. So of course, I uh, will make four of these. Kind people are my kind of people. You're the best. And this could be a birthday card. It could be a thank you card. It could be any kind of card. I like those. Um, this could be a congratulations. Oh, in fact, it is. And then we have the fourth card as well. So again, that's that VW card style. I didn't come up with it, but I came up with the formula to make them efficiently, which is what we do around here. Now, here you can see that sweet little applique and the use of the jute here. And what I recommend is just cutting the jute into four lengths so that you know have just enough for every single one of these A7 uh, style cards. And uh, there's some... Uh, 
all is I hope all is well again could be birthday and um, oh they say it's the thought that counts but I went ahead and sent this card too so again I just try to keep them very broad and versatile this is one of my favorite humor ones the best time to call me is text message <laughs> just getting missing you let's talk soon so these are really fun I think you'll you'll easily find a lot of use for these uh, then the stamps. I also want to mention pops. So let's talk about stamps. Uh, we do have some fun uh, stamps and great images, especially that chicken coop. Uh, chicken wire is cool, a cool noise. It's a nice size. And because it is clear, you'll be able to stamp it in a repeating pattern without going astray. I love that you can align it perfectly from end to end and edge to edge. So all of it is designed to match. So kudos to Jack for making that happen. Um, we even have something fun to put on the outside of your envelopes. We like to include those every once in a while. And just some really sweet uh, sentiments. And if you're a card maker, you can subscribe to uh, our pops or pack of panels. Uh, these are about four by six in size and uh, they'll work really well for uh, card making, die cutting, all of that sort of thing. It includes the blue, taupe, brick, and brown from the set. Okay, let's see what Julie made. Now, Julie sends her, she lives in uh, on the Cape in Massachusetts, makes her cards there and mails them to me so that you can take a peek. And then she's gonna review them more specifically in her blog post uh, later on this month. So um, stay tuned for that. Um, a nice white ink on brown is sweet with a little ribbon wrap. Here we have some jute used with the medallion image and some of her own embossing and scoring in the background. She did some fabulous coloring this month. I'm sure she'll share more about that. What type of printer? I use our internal copy machine for my instructions, by the way. I'm very blessed to have that in my around the corner from my desk. Um, another really cool card if you happen to have some embossing folders. You know, there's a nice crossover from the honeycomb feel, uh, which is what the chicken wire pattern really is. It's kind of a honeycomb uh, design. Three little chicks stamped in a row. I can't go wrong with that. Um, looks like she may have used ma mahogany, earth, and ash. Ash is one of the inks I really loved with this kit because it's that nice cool color. It's not a black. It's just a lovely color. So if you don't already have our ash ink pad, it is one of my favorites and it's awesome for inking edges as well. I believe she's stamped in ash as well. Look at this fabulous card. This would be a great wedding card, don't you think? Mm, just gorgeous. We've got a tag going on here with some fun coloring techniques as well. This one, oh, he is just marvelous. And then a little accenting with the white pigment pen. Really good work on these. Um, this is from my easy, easy to make set. So if you are a stamper, uh, we've got lots of inspiration for you already this month. And then um, if you are a member, and uh, not if you just purchased the kit, but if you are a member, you get the bonus formula. I want you to not only use everything we send without a scrap, but um, also to use what you have. So I took the formula that I designed for this collection, a really nice easy cut, and um, made this page with the blue, brown, brick, and the stamp, print, or the, I'm sorry, the card kit print, which is fabulous. Uh, really turned out nice, and I used it to scrapbook some pictures from a recent trip to Jackson Hole, Wyoming, which was fabulous. In other news, uh, just Friday, I um, taught a class uh, called the Staircase Card Workshop. You can find this on our blog, and I believe Karen even has it pinned. It's it's clubscrap.com forward slash a forward slash blog forward slash staircase dash card. And you can, for a limited time, have access to the instructions to make this card very efficiently. I have a lot of great assembly tips for this. And we do have a little staircase card kit. Um, it, this was another uh, bonus card sample that I use with stamps. I forgot to grab my staircase style. And then this one is with fun and games stamps. So once you master the structure, it's fun to duplicate and it makes a really fun card. And again, the instructions are available for a limited time and then we'll be in our digital store after that. The next thing I want to show you is our next project we're going to be releasing. And um, it does come with instructions and it's called the Podium Book. I'm going, let me, look, let me get my list here. Oh, geez. On September 24th, on the one of a kind page, I am doing this class to make what's called the podium book. You can purchase a full kit and I'll show that to you right now. The kit includes the entire roost page kit, plus the foam brush, 
wire, your binding rings, and uh, the spine, a piece of mat board, and then two book board covers. Um, so this plus a page kit is, and the instructions, will be the podium book kit. And what does it make? Uh, well, this is it. So you can see it's a book structure and it has this easel on the back and the easel is hooked to a binding ring with the ribbon that's included. You can see the cotton taupe right here. And what's nice about this is you can shelve it when you don't want to display it. And then when you do want to, just open the easel and then it stays up on its own. And then uh, the viewer can just simply page through all the fun pages in the book so you can kind of see and what's really unique about this is the binding and this was originally um a, a, quite a while ago Jacqueline Carney developed this uh project for a retreat workshop and the binding is actually wire so if you look at the edge let's see if I can show this to you if you look at the edge it's it's a wire bound and that's where this wire comes in so those of you who don't like to work with needle and thread perhaps you can work with some wire and make this really cool book now as with most of the projects we've been designing around here um, the instructions are neutral so paper a b c and so on they're very detailed they got a lot a lot to cover here but i do it with the video let me show you what i did when i followed the instructions and substituted with this Mediterranean collection. You might recognize this from August, right? And I think this is going to be the most perfect uh, cookbook display. So again, it has the easel and you can set it up. And uh, again, I can add recipes to this along with pictures maybe of what the recipe makes. I think it would be a lot of fun and what a spectacular gift it would be to someone. And when they don't want to use it, they can just again, put it on the shelf. Karen also made one and uh, she had some fun with the hot summer collection. So this was a kit released earlier uh, this summer. I think it was, gosh, I can't even remember. I'm sure Julie and Karen will help me. Which month was this? I'm drawing a blank. Um, but isn't it fabulous? All these bright colors. Karen's going to use it for a recent trip that she took with her family. I believe they were in Dominican Republic. How fun is that going to be on this book? And then once she's tired of displaying it, she can set it aside and then pull it back out again uh, in a year or so. And everyone can still enjoy those great memories. So I love this. And yes, Paula, you can add this with your kit. It's going to be available and launch today with everything else. Um, so you don't have to miss out. And you can either get like a second full roost kit with the components, um, or you can just purchase the components separately and make the project with whatever kit you have on hand. You'll be in charge of creating your substitutions and you know figuring that out and you're very capable of doing so. Okay, but that's not all. Hang on, I'm gonna get rid of this. Oh, goodness. So many things all over the place here. I'm gonna slide this in. Um, a lot of you may already know, but I know it's hard to keep up with all the news we have coming. So this is the Butterflies collection. This is a remix. Um, initially, we had a kit way back called Papillon, and which is French for butterfly. And uh, Butterflies came at, from that, and it sold out so quickly we ran it again. It's pretty, pretty close to the original. So I'm going to show you uh, these pages. This is one and two. And I went ahead and added pictures. Um, my daughter and her girlfriend uh, did some national park touring. So this is from their trip just to show you how beautiful this is with anything outdoors. And here um, I'm with some friends in Paris. So it's transcendent like butterflies. They're everywhere. And uh, also still in Paris near um, the mini Arc de Triomphe. <laughs> And, um, oh, here I am in Jackson Hole, Wyoming again, because I'm working on that right now. So just goes to show that no matter what you're scrapbooking, bring your photos to the pages and that sets the theme, which is, again, what I love. A um, couple of other tidbits of information in this, in this tote bag. I have the results of our August birthday swap. My birthday was in August and it was indeed made very, very special by all of your uh, cards that you sent. There are some beauties in here. I just I just had so much fun opening them and looking at all the fun cards that you created, some of it with um, your own stash, some with, with cards from our uh, card kit. It was a great time. Um, so thank you for these marvelous cards and the letters that you wrote inside them. Um, they were extremely special and meaningful to me. 
couple of other little tidbits of news. I want to show you this because it's just so beautiful. Karen, um, right now the Galaxy Collection's on sale. Um, all of the components of the kit that remain and the kits themselves. So if you don't have the, uh, the Galaxy page kit and maybe you visited the Van Gogh um, interactive museum experience, Karen took so many pictures, she was able to fill an entire um, hinge album you Hinge album is the name of this project with her pictures from that uh, museum visit, which is pretty exceptional. The colors are spot on. So make sure you grab the Galaxy kit while it lasts. Maybe you've been to the Van Gogh Museum and this little project, this, this You Hinge book project is available in our digital download area. So you can download the instructions and there's a video with that as well. Finally, earlier this month, in case you missed it, <laughs> this is a lot of in case you missed it, um, we released a triple matte card formula as well. So this is something you can download. I have the um, step out instructions, a video that goes with this, and the video is linked in the instructions and it shows you how to make this fun um, technique where you're overlapping uh, one image onto several mats. So I give the, the big secret behind all of that. You can see I use the Mediterranean stamps and Tropical stamps to make that happen. Really fun technique. So if you haven't tried it and you wanna do it the easiest way possible, uh, get that triple matte card formula and check that out as well. Okay, I think I've gotten to most of the end of my list. Let me grab my, grab my uh, checklist here. Oh, okay. We are going to be having our annual design planning meeting soon. I believe it's scheduled for September 17th and uh, the team is going to be here. We'll spend the better part of the day just looking at color palettes and theme names that we want and that you suggest. So if you have an idea for a theme you would like to see, maybe next year, maybe in the future, uh, perhaps as a regular monthly kit or maybe a special edition, you can request that um, send your theme ideas to karen at clubscrap.com that's her email says so karen at clubscrap.com and if you want it to be discussed at the meeting it needs to be here before september 17 when we talk about it now there is a certain member her name is beth moran beth moran thank you she has been um highly responsible for giving us a lot of great theme ideas for many many years past um, and when she sends us a theme idea, she sends a color palette suggestion, art inspiration, quotes that go with it, and why she thinks it would be a great monthly theme for everybody. Why she thinks it's neutral um, and purpose, purposeful, useful, trendy, whatever it may be. When, when Beth sends us a theme, a lot of times, it, it holds a lot of weight because she does such a fantastic job. So if you really want your theme considered, the best way to make that happen is to present it to us like you're selling it because we're going to have to sell it too, right? So if you want a theme, um, tell us why and tell us why you think everyone else will want it too. So uh, it has to be ha have wide appeal for it to be a monthly collection. And what we typically do is anything with a more narrow focus, we'll do it as a special release. So, you know, sometimes those ideas are great and we want to do them, but we just don't send them automatically with the monthly collection. Um, place your orders ASAP. Um, the kits ship out Thursday and Beth does everything in her power to try to get those orders you place piggybacked with your shipment. Um, it's taking us the better part of two days now to get all those boxes out the door, but once that whole process is initiated, it's um, it can't be stopped. So any changes, additions, or, or eliminations for your subscription need to happen before those memberships process because once that, once it's going, it's going and we can't it's really hard to dig through a pallet if you call that day and say, I changed my mind. <laughs> so uh, make up your mind before Thursday, okay? Um, also, one last thing, and it's sort of a sad thing, but something that maybe that you can help us with. Um, we have an, a staff member here who is going through a really tough time right now. Her name is Jane. She joined our team a few years ago. She's been a member for a long, long time, and I asked for her permission today to share with you uh, what she's going through. She has been diagnosed with stage four cancer and is facing a really difficult road ahead of treatment and fighting this. She has a lot of great reasons to fight and um, we are joining her in that fight and we would love to have you join her as well. And if you're interested in sending her a little card of encouragement, prayer, a thought, um, please go ahead and send it to us at Club Scrap Care of Jane Lund. 
L-U-N-D. And if her name's on that card, we will personally deliver, deliver it to her and make sure she gets it. And um, then you can be a part of her a warrior team and support her in this journey ahead. So um, we always say, you know, Club Scrap is, isn't just a club, it's a family. So um, we've, we as Jane's family here at the warehouse are coming alongside her. And because you are a part of our family, we would love to have you uh, join us in that as well, because, because that's what being in this club's all about, right? Um, you saw the birthday cards too. I mean, I, we probably get more cards from each other than we do from our own family, right? <laughs> so you really are our family and we appreciate all of you so very much. We do not take your loyalty for granted at all. And um, so thank you so much for joining me for this live. I hope you love the collection like I do. It's just one of my favorites. I love the colors, the art, everything about it. And um, so I look forward to shipping it to you on Thursday. It's going to be a fun, busy day here. And um, thank you so much for joining me today with all this information. I know it's kind of like trying to drink water out of a fire hydrant. <laughs> it's just coming at you. So if you have questions, I know that Julie and Karen are standing by ready to take your calls. Uh, we have a little uh, message screen. You can type a message to us as well. So we'll be here standing by to help you out. 